Hey there, what's going on? Welcome to another video. My name is Paola of paulafonsanails.com and today we are doing something a little bit different in today's video. So in preparation of Prime Day, which if you are not familiar, is Amazon's pretty much Black Friday event for Prime members. That's happening this upcoming week on Wednesday and Thursday, July 13th and 14th. And um, they'll have exclusive discounts for Prime members. So I thought, hey, in honor of that, why don't I share with you what my Amazon favorites are? And I'm gonna be sharing with you probably what I shop on Amazon most for, or if you would say in my nail station, like what are some, where are these Amazon favorites? They're actually in my nail caddy. So we are going to be breaking down my nail caddy and I'm gonna show you all the essentials you should have. <music> Now, there is one very special way to prep. I don't know if you've already done this. I actually don't do this myself a lot, but I need to. Um, and the way to prepare for any sale is to create a wish list, right? And what you can do, if you find any of the items that you like, I'll go ahead and link my Amazon link below. It's just one link and you'll be taken to different list of um, items. For example, you'll have like my equipment, my nail caddy favorites, my press-ons favorites, and these are all different lists. But for today's, for today's video's purpose, we're only going to be doing the nail caddy because I really believe that anyone should have a nail caddy. So again, if you want to be notified, like if there's any price drops come Prime Day, which is next Wednesday and Thursday or this upcoming Wednesday and Thursday, then add the items that you're interested in to your uh, wish list and create a Prime Day wish list if you want. And that way you can also be notified if there are any deals on the items that I'm talking about, especially if you're gonna be buying equipment. We won't be talking equipment today, but I do have a list of my favorite equipment from Amazon, okay? All right, without further ado, let's break down this nail caddy down and see what are the essentials that I recommend and that I've been buying from Amazon for quite a while. All right, first things first, Maybe you're like, what's a nail caddy? Why do you need a nail caddy? A nail caddy is just any organization container like so, where you can put all of your most used supplies for a nail service. So for me, this is currently what it looks like. I have gone through maybe another one that was um, a favorite, but I got it like at home goods or something. And the thing about that one was that it was acrylic. And so if you got acetone on it, it will make it get blurry. So for the last two years or so, I've been working with this nail caddy, which you'll find on my one of my Amazon lists for nail caddy favorites. Um, I absolutely enjoy it very much. It fits all of my little containers and it keeps things super organized. And if you're like, is this a must for your nail business? Absolutely. When I used to work in the salon full time and take clients back to back for five days, I don't understand how I could not work with a nail caddy. It just makes everything within hands reach and it just makes you work a little bit more efficient and efficiency in nails means faster, which can also translate to a little bit more money. Okay. So let's break down the items in this nail caddy. I'm gonna start from a corner. This is an e-file bit. Now I added my own sticker to it, but it's a clear case for your e-file bits. Now there is this one that you can press things on there, or there's one that you can insert the actual bit into it. In any case, case put into it. <laughs> I think this is an essential thing to have in your nail caddy. Um, you can also buy like a rounded one. I have used that before, but this, works really well for me right now. I can just set it flat like that on my nail caddy and use whatever bit I need. The next thing that I do, and if you're wondering if I get my bits from Amazon, I actually don't get them at the moment from Amazon unless I need a specific bit, like a ceramic bit, I get them from Naturally Nail. So if you're interested in where I get those, I can link those for you also, or you can ask me in the comment section, okay? So the other thing that I have in my nail caddy, which is indispensable, like I must have, again, nail caddy essentials are like must haves. You cannot work a service, a nail service without any of these items kind of thing, okay? So this is a Tiara, but it has these little cutouts, right? And if you're wondering, okay, what's that for? Well, you take your brush and you can set it there, but it actually works best when you are using your brush and then you just want to leave it there so that you don't get gel all over your desk, your items, yourself, all that stuff. 
So this is a tiara and I do get compliments and questions about like, what is it? Where can I get it? And you can find it on Amazon. <laughs> this is a pretty cute little tiara. Now I have selected on my list this durable one because when I first was starting to or looking for this type of tiara. Um, I had one, but it broke, and so I was trying to find what was good quality, and this one has definitely stood the test of time. It's probably like five years old, okay? The next thing that I have here is a nail art palette. Now, a nail art palette can essentially be anything, um, but I think you will enjoy these silicone ones because you're gonna, I mean, any palette, you can just wipe off anything. And if you want to do like molded nail art or 3D nail art or anything that you want to peel off, it peels off really nice off of the silicone nail art palette where you can put your colors when you're doing nail art. Next up, let's see. I'm going to show you my towelettes. Now my towelettes are not lint free. They are two by two dental gauges. I've created a video before on whether or not there is an actual lint-free towelette. And there is, but they are expensive. And personally, I went through a lot of these, not ir irresponsibly, I mean, I do that kind of now, <laughs> because it's just myself and friends and family. But in this alone, when you're keeping costs, this is like the bang for the buck, and you can get like a whole case of these. I'm talking about like, I don't know, 2000, I think is the packaging. Um, and they are, you, can, you have to watch this video because I break it down why, these have worked for me even though I work with gels and these are not 100% lint free. And the trick, I'll just tell you right now, but watch the video, it's very informative. And you'll also learn about different ones that are lint free if you're interested in that. If you keep this wet, it will not create lint. Okay, so you keep it with, with alcohol. All right, so you can get a whole case of these. I've been using these, I'm not kidding you, for five plus years and I don't have a lint issue or an annoyance, right? Because I keep them wet while I'm working. Okay, with that being said, what do I keep it wet with? It is the 90% alcohol. Now, 90% alcohol can be a little bit hard to come across. And when you're working with gel nails, it does not have to be specifically 90%. It can be 91%. It can be maybe even 80%, but I usually recommend 90%. Um, definitely not 70% because that usually means 70% um, alcohol and the other can be 30% water or something else. So 90% alcohol, I recommend. It can be 91, it can be 95, it can even be 99. I would just not use 99 on my gel nail brushes because it will uh, dry out the bristles, okay? So you can dilute that if you're gonna use that for your gel brushes. So 90% alcohol. And of course you buy the big stuff there's a bulk item list in my Amazon shop you can look at. Um, I will show you the gallon size 90% alcohol you can buy. But you definitely want to like transfer that over via a funnel to the smaller spray bottles if that's what you want to do. If you don't want to do spray bottles, I do recommend that you have two containers, by the way, for alcohol. If, you don't, if you're not gonna do the spray bottle because this is more convenient, right, like a Menda pump, I've linked those also there in my shop. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about this, but let me tell you why you need two containers. I don't know about you, but when I work with gel nails, I like to use this pump area as a little bowl for cleaning my brushes when I'm painting the rare times that I paint or even cleaning my brushes just on top, right? And there can be probably some contamination into your bottle, Maybe unlikely just because of the mechanism, how this works. However, um, even putting gel here, you don't wanna take your towelette and then clean your client's finger like so, right? Because then you're gonna get some of that gel residue from maybe the last service or whatnot onto the uh, skin. and You don't wanna create any allergic reactions. So that is why anything that's going to touch the skin of the client, I do recommend that you do this Instead, right, spray some on the towelette versus just picking it up from your Menda pump, although that's very convenient, I understand. But for the safety of you and your client uh, when exposing them to chemicals uh, like gel, if it's uncured, then I would definitely have the extra bottle. So again, imagine you get a whole gallon of 90% alcohol and you have your two containers. That is going to last you a very long time and it's a very wise way to spend your money, right? To buy in bulk and then you know, create smaller batches. Okay, next up, with that being said, you can also buy a high quality cuticle oil um, in stock. I don't necessarily have a recommendation for that. This is just something that I've used. Um, I think this is Young Nails and I've gotten the bigger bottle. You can create your own. I know that different states, or I don't know if it's a country thing, also require that you have an ingredients list and all of that. 
So that's why that may not be um, allowed. But if you want to create your own, if that's allowed in where you live, then you can definitely create a big batch of cuticle oil and then obviously transfer it into these small containers. And again, if your state or where you're at, your location allows you to retail, you can always reach out in these small containers. So this is, again, something you can find on Amazon. I forgot what it's called. What is it? A dropper <laughs> with the, the brown bottle, the amber dropper bottle. I don't know. Okay, next up you need a couple of Menda pumps. Menda pumps, I mean, I'm, I just know them as that. Maybe Menda is a brand, right, of pumps, but it's basically dispenser bottles with a pump mechanism at the top. Sometimes they collect the liquid on the top, which is convenient. Um, sometimes they're a little flatter like this one. And you wanna find one that fits your nail caddy. If you would buy this nail caddy, I have also linked you to these specific dispensers because these are thin and they'll fit right in the caddy. I have worked with some that are a little bit thicker, a little bit wider, and they fit in here but kind of tight. And I don't want, I want to say that you have to be very uh, specific when you're looking for these dispensers to make sure that they can actually hold acetone, that it's not going to melt the, the bottle away, okay? So you need at least two, one for your alcohol, one for your acetone when working with gel nails, or maybe just uh, nails in general. Now this is optional, but this, I just wanted to show you in case maybe you're into this. If you follow my channel and you've recently watched, maybe a month and a half or two months ago, uh, the nail decal video, I show you how to apply water decals. And so you'll need water, right? And you don't want to run in the middle of your service to go grab water because anytime you get up or you stop your service, you are going to slow down and, you know, to get back on track can take up to sometimes five minutes just to get back to the speed uh, and concentration of where you were before, okay? So I wanted to just let you know that this is also in my nail caddy. And it's literally just water a little bit because then you can just put it in here. And if you're painting, if you're using watercolor, I think it is good to have a little bit of water on your nail caddy if it fits and if you're doing that kind of nail art. In this case, for me, it works well for the nail decals, the water slide decals. So it is convenient for me to have a dappen dish. This is another thing that you need to have on your uh, nail caddy, a dappen dish, okay? So those are my three solutions. Uh, containers, the pumps, and the this is a hair color bottle. That's all that is. You can, you know, get creative with which one you choose. Again, just want to let you know that I have that. Again, the next item that I like to have in my nail caddy because it's just super handy. And again, I'm not scrambling for where is it kind of thing is a dappen dish. You can put any liquid in here. So if you're doing a specific nail art technique that requires any one of your solutions, you can just dump a little bit on here. It's a glass little jar and you can work from there. It's great if you're cleaning up French the old way with the French brush, I'll show you mine in a minute. And um, if you're applying water, for water slide decals. Again, just a little dish, a glass dish to have available for your nail art situation at that time, okay? So moving right along, the other thing you need is a brush. You may decide to have a single-handed brush like this, or you may also find a brush that goes in on your fingers. Now, I'll caution you, not all of them fit your hand like this this is how they're supposed to fit but that's not a problem i do see a lot of nail techs wear it the one that doesn't fit on your fingers like so and it just is very snug and it seems to still do the job so if you're into the handheld ones which will save you a little bit of time because you're not dropping and picking up a tool definitely a mask and you are supposed to use one per client okay so just fyi unless you're uh again where you were at you're just allowed to disinfect it with alcohol, then that's fine too. All right, next step, you need some steering tools of some kind. And I'm gonna add this one and I'm gonna add this one to the conversation. This is a color steering tool. If you're working with gels, even if you're working with gel bottles, you'll need this because um, sometimes if you haven't used a color, color in a long time, you need to steer it and this, Sometimes doesn't cut it, especially because of the consistency of the gel. If it's a little bit more viscous, a little bit more thick, then this is not going to do it. If you have a pro shaker, please. Yeah, I used to have one. I love that thing. Um, 
but you may have to get in there with a tool to stir the pigment from the bottom, especially if it's like a glitter or shimmery gel, then you're going to have to need a tool like this. I personally like the one that's a little bit more flat. Um, I think it's just great because it's not so big where I'm going to take a lot of product and then have to rub off or, you know, or get rid of the excess. So this works great. Um, again, you, sh you should be able to find this on my Amazon favorite list. Now I wanted to talk about this one also because this tool here can work as a darning tool, sure, but you can also use this. It's like the perfect thickness to clean around the cuticle area when you mess up and it's metal you know but if you're cleaning like the old way i don't know if you're familiar with the old way of cleaning french lines i cannot live without this brush i cannot do nails without this brush we know it as a french cleaning brush and whenever you're doing some design i find that this is just going to give you the cleanest the cleanest cleanup um, that any brush can do. I know you can do it with a clean gel brush, but that just doesn't give you that crisp clean. And this brush, which is like a half oval, half circle there, um, just works wonder. I'm using it in size 14. You'll be able to find that on my list. And again, this and helps you also to get around the cuticle area or side walls if you have some cover, um, some color overflow or some clear gel overflow, any kind of gel overflow, okay? So one thing that I cannot not have in my nail caddy, it's that important to me. And maybe I've trained myself to just make it that indispensable, right? But it is what it is. Okay, next up, what you should have is nail files and buffers. This is a cute little case I got from a vendor at the farmer's market. And it just fits very perfectly in here um, just to separate my tools from the files. Not that it needs to, but it, it, it almost adds like an extra compartment. We'll talk about compartments in just a moment. So these are specific to your client, obviously, because most states require that you have one set of buffers per client, right? You should not be reusing them. But since I'm so low and again, my thing is just digital uh, curating content for you, then I can... I have the privilege to have my own here and definitely something that you need. Now, I used to have a nail caddy where I could set my e-file on the back. Like if it had a clamp, I would literally just clamp it here and I have my nail caddy and I can easily work with it clamped down because that cord was long enough, okay? All right, so the other thing that you will have in your nail caddy or nail brushes, now, I'll be very upfront. I don't buy any brushes from Amazon. As you can see, all that I really buy from Amazon are my essentials, um, my organization tools like that. I'm okay with Amazon and everything else we do like to try and support obviously the brands that we know, like, and trust um, and that are more specific to our niche like Japanese gel. So you'll find all my Japanese gel nail brushes in here. The only brush that I do use from Amazon is this one, which is that French cleaning brush. That's what it's called, but you can use it to clean anything and just make it real crisp. If you've never used one of these brushes and you use it to clean, maybe not your French, but maybe another detail work. Do you just want to clean the edge? Just like not crisp. Um, when you use this, I think you'll thank me. And the way it works, you just uh, dab it a little bit in alcohol and then pat dry and then clean up over the gel. All right, so I think I got everything that goes on my nail caddy. Uh, we can talk compartments real quick. So that's really my, all there really is to this really cool caddy. And the reason why I like it is because of the compartment. So you notice in my nail caddy, you need a compartment for your towelettes. This one fits perfectly my two by twos. You need a, uh, another compartment for your you know, 90% alcohol, your cuticle oil. Maybe you have a gel formula that, that you use a lot. And so you might be able to fit it in here. You need an area for your dispensers and you need an area for your brushes and your files. And then you get two of these slide out containers here, drawers, which are super handy to put any extra essentials that you may have for like nail art or even just creating your sets even if they're just one color right 
I'll take you through what's in here. Again, because I've worked on myself and just on creating content, I have my tools here. I do have a label disinfectant just in case I have someone come in. <laughs> um, I do like to obviously clean my tools after myself. Um, so I'll put them in there and I have my nippers, my pushers and my clippers in there. And then other tools that don't necessarily have to be like disinfected every single time, right? I put down here and that would include items that I use a lot. For example, these tweezers for nail art. These are my absolute favorite. These are another type of tweezers, but they're really, really, really pointed. <laughs> and then they have this silicone edge. And the reason why these are crucial for me now is because you're able to peel stickers. If you've ever peeled a sticker and you've accidentally like attached it to itself, then you definitely need to invest in these little thin tweezers. And then they come with this silicone piece here. It actually comes off. Um, and you go ahead and press the sticker rather than using your finger. Now you may also be wearing gloves and that might be okay, but it's really handy to have one tool to do that when you're not using gloves because you don't want to use your fingers because then you're gonna get your oil from your hand onto your gel nails, okay? Super, super handy, cannot recommend that enough. The other tool that I have in this second drawer is nail form cutters. You can take a pair of maybe a little bit more dull cuticle nippers if you want, or you can just find something similar. These are slightly curved here. So they're perfect for cutting my nail form, for cutting, um, pretty much that's it, because I'm gonna show you what else I use for. You can use this for nail stickers also, but they're a little bit curved. So as long as you're okay with that, then that's fine. But if you do need a straight edge, um, these are very fancy scissors. They're very straight as straight as you can probably have a scissor, obviously. And um, they are kind of pricey. I did get these from Daily Charm, but just to let you know, these are the two that I carry. Okay, I think these are like made in Japan. Lastly, the other thing that I have in here that you should have in your nail caddy is a gel removal tool. Now, as you know, I don't, or you may not know, I don't usually soak off clients, or I didn't soak off clients gel nails. I pretty much, 100% of the times on clients, e-file removed because I have the training to do so. And um, if you don't, and you're still doing soak offs, no worry. But this new tool in the market is super cool at scraping off any of the remainder gel that did not necessarily just peel off. Now you don't want the tool to do the removal for you. You obviously want the process to do that for you, but it is super, super cool because I find that you are digging less onto the nail plate than if you just use like a cuticle pusher. You could also use a wood cuticle stick, okay? And as far as nail caddy essentials go, that is all I have. Again, I think that a nail caddy is super essential at making your services faster because they make everything be within hands reach, which makes your service work efficiently. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you add some of the items that we talked about today to your wish list. Do check out my other list on my Amazon storefront. I'll drop the link for you in the description box below. Happy Prime Day if you're a Prime member and I'll see you here next week. Bye for now.